Apa kabar dan salam sejahtera and hello my call sign is gadget and welcome to Armor Malaysia Bootcamp. Well, communication is clearly a precondition for action and a must for victory. The ability to receive and use information is of critical importance on the battlefield which often spells the difference between a victory or defeat of your team. As unit becomes more dispersed and spread around the battlefield, communication becomes more important. So as your ability to control units, understand their status and needs, identify a gap, a risk, an opportunity, a momentum. You win or lose a battle is based on the decisions command makes. The quality of those decisions is based on the information command has and the accuracy of this information depends completely on good communication. It will help in prevention of friendly fire incidents, updating adjacent units and getting updates from them, being in touch with central command one or two levels above you, respond much faster in changing situations, and marshal resources much more tactically and even perhaps strategically. With that, good radio communications in Armour Militia is one of the most basic and important requirements of our gameplay. In our games, we use proper military radio etiquette as best as we know. And the best part in Amar Malaysia is that we communicate in multilingual format in language that you're most comfortable with. English and Basa Malaysia is most commonly used in all our games. And the objective of this bootcamp is to help our new joiner as well as a revision for those who have been playing with us for a long time. Hope it helps. Catch it out. Okay, boss. Okay, apa khabar? Salam sejahtera. Uh, welcome to Amal Malaysia Basic Tactical Comms Familiarization and SOP uh, course untuk hari ini. Um, okay, the the plan is let me just uh, get an understanding dengan uh, uh, kelas ni. Uh, yang yang siapa first time or totally tak ada knowledge, uh, can you stand to the right side or my right side? Uh, your left lah if you face me your left yang those that already ok lah boleh dah main banyak kali and uh, basic understanding pun ada go to the left side uh, and then have a gap kat tekan so I can have a bit of a understanding oh so yeah, most of you guys dah quite steady lah so Azrul Azrul I thought you sudah expert dah tipu lah you uh, Albi and Hafiz, only three of you is pertama kali lah. Okay, never mind. Uh, go uh, as, as long as I know, you can join back the group lah. Okay. The the plan here is uh, kita buat uh, course ni ada campur-campur lah. Uh, bahasa English, bahasa Melayu. So at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be quite a, uh, bukan serious sangat lah. Uh, any question, please stop me and then uh, and ask the question. And I'll try my best to explain. So uh, what I'll do is sekarang, uh, the idea is to uh, start off with, uh, okay, equipment yang radio to long range, short range, everybody understand how to use that? Oh. Okay, I might as well, I might as well quickly run through a refresher of that one. Okay, kalau you control P, that is your short range radio. Yang uh, in yang model kat sini is called uh, PRC152 lah. Yang ada APIS tu, H-A-P-P-A-I-S. So, this one is your short range radio. Uh, if kalau model betul-betul, this one range, but if there's a straight line, tak ada terrain, uh, by right dia punya jarak ni ada 5km so it varies because once you go into certain terrain dia ada banyak mountain, hills ke uh, buildings it's actually molded to give you interference then the range akan kurang sikit otherwise this is your short range that actually ranges up to 5km uh, if you look at uh, dia punya basic tu dia punya volume dia punya volume ke atas then at the bottom there you see the screen C1 to channel 1, channel 2, channel 3 what you, how you change the channel is just pressing by pressing your numpad 1, 2, 2, 3, 4 so for now quickly what I'll do is that uh, everybody just to get familiarized change channel 1 to uh, frequency 100 what you do is you press the clear you press the clear button 
Okay, you press the clear button. Kat kanan atas tu yang paling kanan atas, key CLR, clear, and then you tekan 100 kat numpad. Okay, dah masuk uh, 100 kat bawah tu ada ENT enter, masuk tu je. And uh, if you go kat bawah left, paling left, paling bawah, you put your mouse away, dia ada stereo setting. Now, untuk squat, uh, I would suggest you don't worry about this. You Because to for squat level, okay, jangan tekan dulu. Okay, ya, jangan tekan dulu. Uh, for squat level, uh, by right, you just stay with your squat channel cukup. Because kalau you ada... Uh, uh, alternate channel ke atau additional channel you going to get very confused all you need to do is for squad level stay at one channel and you listen to arahan dari squad leader je so if later on you can move into making apa uh, like uh, when you uh, more proficient in listening into two frequency later kalau you mau you boleh use this stereo setting to adjust uh, main channel on your right right ear and the uh, alternate channel on your left ear you boleh guna tu okay uh, to do that I will I, I don't think I will go into detail on that because I want to stay uh, basic and uh, time constraint kita mau cepat habis uh, this one then go to medical training so for from here I think as much as uh, for the short range tu je you want to have channel 2 you tekan channel 2 you go and you do the same thing you clear then you masuk channel 2 you enter Tapi when you put channel 1, channel 2 uh, What you do is that you will be on that channel saja. That means you move channel 1, you dengar channel 1 saja. You tekan channel 2, dia masuk channel 2 Okay, so let's stay with channel 100 Everybody 100, okay? Okay, if, okay, if everybody okay You punya key bind setting for the PTT Yang push to talk, semua sudah siap tak? Everybody mm -hmm. tahu kan? Uh, to basic lah, so most, most of you have played the game, should be okay lah. So, from here, uh, I quickly run through long range radio. Long range radio, alternate P. Alternate, uh, al alt P, yes. Yep. Then, then triple T kata, kalau dia tak ada nampak, kena settle macam mana? Okay, kalau tak ada keypad uh, dalam you punya keyboard uh, what you can do is that you also masuk back to the escape uh, tekan escape masuk options masuk control and then look for configure add-ons uh, put in the choose the TIFA and inside the TIFA there you scroll down you will see SW channel 1 uh, masuk you punya keybind kat sana lah I suggest macam control 1 uh, as your keybind to switch to channel 1 and then so on and so forth is control 2, control 3, sampai control 8 lah. Then from there, you can assign uh, the channel buttons using the numbers on the keyboard, bukan keypad punya. Uh, for that, I think uh, it will solve your problems for those people who tak the uh, keypad on the keyboard. So from, uh, from there, I think uh, you will solve that problem. Okay, so let's continue. Ada soalan tak sekarang? Tak ada. Uh, ah, uh, yeah. Won't you teach them uh, about alternate? Alternate not here, yeah. not not hari ni. Because kalau masuk alternate tu lama sikit We want to clear basic dulu. Okay. So for short range, the we clear that. Long range, just for your knowledge, uh, which most of you kalau bukan squad leader atau uh, JTAC atau forward observer, you tak uh, atau Kalau you bukan pilot, most of the time you tak guna long range Okay, but just for today, quick familiarization Untuk buka uh, interface untuk long range, alternate P Alt P Okay Alt P tu you tengok, uh, dia punya radio tu besar sikit ni ASIP I can't remember dia punya uh, definition of uh, PRC apa Tapi is uh, the ASIP uh, model this one, uh, interesting, this one, you cannot use the numpad. This one, you must use your mouse and you go over the the, the keypad, uh, virtual keypad. So, what you do is, left, uh, paling left, paling bawah, itu ada CLR. You clear. Okay, wait now. So, when you clear, uh, 
sudah clear tu then you you tekan you punya nombor to add into the the frequency kalau for this one you masuk 50 and then you click frequency yang paling right atas FREQ you masuk frequency that means lock into 50 you try that Alright, itulah Hans Tik. Kita boleh pakai apa numpad dan juga ni nombor dekat keyboard kalau nak masukkan frekuensi radio long range macam ni. Eh, gadget uh, yang low range ni nak channel apa eh? Channel 1? Uh, 5, 50. You tukar channel 1. You kat bawah you tekan dia punya butang menu CLR kat bawah. Menu CLR fa bottom left bila sudah clear dia punya atas guna you punya you punya keyboard punya you masuk 50 50 then move your mouse to the far right button uh, FREQ dan tekan tu untuk set channel dah buat semua Okay, and as for long range punya channel, PTT uh, for long range dalam key binding sudah set tak? Sudah, sudah. Okay. Maksudnya default lagi ya? Uh, default lah. <coughs> okay, kalau you want to go quickly set, you tekan escape. Masuk configure. Masuk control. Masuk configure add-ons kat bawah sebelah OK. Configure add-ons kat bawah. Tekan tu. Yang atas tu ada add-on. Uh, cari TFA. T-F-A-R. Kat TFA tu you scroll kat bawah. Dia ada LR transmit. LR transmit. Kejap aku pun cari. Uh, LR transmit. LR transmit tu... Eh, you you tekan tu and you set you, you punya your favorite key binding lah untuk long range transmit. Ini set untuk short range sekali. Short range tu sama. Uh, the same same add on. Escape configure. Then you see S SR SR transmit to short range. You tak boleh. You choose your another button yang you like yang tak ada conflict. Sorry, sorry. How to change to the long range one because my inbind for short range is caps lock. Okay, so you go you go into escape. You keyboard you type escape. Click configure. Go to controls, and then from the controls, okay, you at the bottom, right next to OK, there's configure add-ons. At the and then are you in configure add-ons already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on top there, you see add-on. You click that one, and you, uh, you be a scroll down. You cari TFA, T F A R. You see that? Yeah, at Tifa, you scroll down some more to almost the bottom there, you will see something that says LR transmit, Lima Romeo transmit. Okay? okay, okay and then there, there's a key bind there, uh, you that, choose, okay. yeah, then you double click that and you choose your favorite key bind for long range. Okay, so then you have caps lock for short range and then your favorite key for long range. Okay. Okay, everybody understand? Okay, okay. okay tak, tak payah buat radio check sekarang. Uh, for the radio check later, I think uh, when we do kita punya TVT, kalau ada masa, then we do a practical uh, from there. From now, here I will proceed. So, this is uh, a refresher for your equipment. Semua okay, ah? Yeah? Okay. Okay, if everybody's okay, I'm going to go straight into the uh, basic comms. To start with basic comms, uh, just understand. Uh, the most basic thing in comms is the construct of how you send a message. Uh, to do a, a construct of a, a message yang you mau buat comms, there's four parts. Uh, part one two is call sign. It means you start with your call sign. 
part two uh, second part is called initiate the message uh, how you initiate the message which uh, and number three is you send your message and number four is you end the signal ending the message so very basic empat basic ni je you have to remember in other words everybody has to be standardized uh, for example number one construct call sign what you start is you will call out the receiver and then you call out yourself that means in other words macam uh, if I want to talk to Roy I will start with the call sign Roy gadget or Roy this is gadget that's how you start because very important I, I notice banyak orang always lupa to start this and you just uh, cakap enemy depan then or uh, pusing kanan and you know most of the people most of us have no idea siapa yang cakap because uh, in the radio semua some of them sound the same so you it's very important you start with the call sign Roy this is gadget then from there initiate the message will come from the receiver in other words Roy will say Roy will, will acknowledge you and uh, he will initiate uh, in other words they will kata send atau uh, this is Roy send message or just simple as send saja and then once that is clear you tahu dia sudah uh, dapat you punya acknowledgement you start with your message then you you transmit your message lah apa you mau cakap uh, which I'll go into later and after the message is sent uh, usually uh, the the receiver will receive the message and he will acknowledge and end the message with uh, things like uh, out ke over and out ke uh, so that's your basic construct if you follow this this is what you do Don't it doesn't matter kalau Inggris ke bahasa Malaysia you just follow the construct saja everyone understand? Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh. Adding question on the comms construct. Call sign, initiate message, send message, end message. Um. Okay, lah, bye. Nah, misal kita tengah bertempur, hmm. agak sengit. So, hmm. perlu tak kita follow format call sign, message? Okay, that one. Perlu tak? Uh, dia ada satu uh, cara tu lah. By right, uh, kalau you, okay, by right. Uh, kalau you tengah tempoh Kalau cukup praktis The four construct senang je Watch it Give you an example You tengah tempoh Tiba-tiba kena Macam grenade ke apa Kena tembak sini You kat belakang uh, uh, Cover What you need to do is You call your Let's say you want to call You punya squad leader You straight away kata uh, Squad leader tu Roy uh, Let's say you start with Roy this is lebay Then of course Roy will come and say Send uh, Then you just said I'm under under fire kat belakang uh, arah and you know then you go the into the 3Ds are uh, the 3Ds are explanator direction uh, description dengan uh, apa tu uh, lagi satu distance so what you do you kena tempoh you say Roy this is lebay send I have an uh, enemy uh, uh, in front of me to a clock at 50 meter under fire then you say receive out macam tu tu senang je straightforward so even though kalau cukup practice you guna ni under pressure pun you just use the same way dia tak ada hmm, shortcut format yang, uh, format yang sama ok ok if that's the case uh, what I'll do now is I'll move into the types of net yang kita ada for you to understand uh, biasanya when you masuk mission you masuk uh, sebelum briefing or during briefing uh, kat dalam map dia akan ada you punya different uh, net yang available net 2 is the airspace atau frequency yang uh, for squad level uh, dia ada basically dia ada at least 5 types of uh, net yang paling paling basic punya is the squad net yang usually you guna lah uh, kalau you raven 1 1 raven 1 2 atau raven 1 3 to squad net ok then from the squad net there will be what you call a platoon net platoon net to actual uh, usually you call it actual lah yang uh, macam platoon leader lah and above the platoon usually there is also one called HQ net tapi HQ net when most of the time kita main tak banyak kita guna HQ net lah HQ net usually is for joint ops joint ops tu macam dengan uh, ada tiga negara yang main dengan kita macam Thailand, Philippines then you have HQ net. HQ net is the the macam commander punya tempat which will uh, which will have to consolidate tiga negara punya. But most of our games sampai platoon net cukup. Okay. 
So yang ketiga tu Airnet Airnet tu Is reserved for uh, uh, Aircraft Be, uh, be it the Helicopter ke Atau uh, uh, Apa tu Aircraft man, Aeroplanes ke Planes lah So Airnet tu Is usually reserved For Pilots Dengan JTAC Atau forward observer Okay And finally One more last net Yang Kadang-kadang ada Kadang-kadang ada Is the vehicle net Vehicle net tu You masuk You punya kereta lah uh, You punya Humvee ke You punya MRAP ke That's the vehicle net Now uh, So This is Where When Macam driver ke Dengan uh, Platoon Apa tu Platoon Actual They will have to have Channel 2 That Masuk into Vehicle net ke Atau uh, Air net ke So when They masuk kereta When they are driving Most of the time They masuk Channel 2 Which communicates vehicle Alright So that's the type of nets Yang available Ada question tak? Okay Kalau tak ada question uh, I will go straight into the Basic uh, uh, Ways of doing Communication Now Basic tu is very simple Following the four construct Dia punya four, four, four step of construct the way you send message have to be very uh, untuk in three types of guidelines saja. Dia punya guideline senang ABC. ABC is accuracy, brevity dengan clarity. Atau dalam uh, bahasa Melayu TPJ lah. Mesti tepat, mesti pendek, mesti jelas. So these three things have to be very clear because most of the time kita masuk comms kita wah chit chat sampai sometimes when we go on comms Dia punya message tu panjang uh, Kita ada uh, Five enemy t uh, Three vehicle at the back Coming from the left right center uh, And I'm under attack And then uh, LB is next to me Sudah mati And then you know Wah oh, panjang tu You know So you the, the the right way is to make it short Accurate Dengan clear So if I want to talk to About accuracy Accuracy tu senang it, You just have to make sure Then you report facts saja Yang you tahu Meaning other words uh, You janganlah kata uh, uh, I have enemy over there By the red house mm. Itu mm. Ah, You you confused lah You must be You must be accurate mm. uh, Saya rasa lagi senang Bagi terangkan koordinat Koordinat Ah, uh, tu that's why dia punya way instead of kata uh, rumah merah kat sebelah tu ada ada enemy. Uh, that's not what you supposed to do. You should be actually giving specifics macam uh, you guna type, I will go into details of the types of coordinates. Ada uh, ada uh, few types yang guna uh, either guna compass atau guna you punya cardinal uh, bearings north west east atau guna apa jam punya tu 1 o'clock 2 o'clock uh, pukul 3 pukul 9 macam tu uh, then you mesti to forget jarak and all that uh, you have to be very accurate okay and accurate also includes macam vehicle uh, you cakap you eh baru okay you like macam vehicle you should be accurate in vehicle like uh, if you see dua vehicle you cakap dua vehicle saja jangan don't uh, make up uh, I think that is five uh, vehicle you, kalau you dengar ada vehicle you say I think maybe got three maybe got four hmm. jangan you tengok ada dua you cakap dua je so you have to be very accurate now brevity atau uh, mesti pendek is that there will be ways of doing it you make it keep it sweet and short pendekkan sat, uh, satu sentence sampai mungkin dua perkataan saja two words ni uh, the brevity I'll give you some very very basic uh, sample of that uh, and then clarity clarity means uh, be, before you press the PTT untuk cakap uh, radio you mesti at least kat you punya your mind you sudah think about what you want to say sebelum you tekan the PTT that means uh, you have to construct you punya thing uh, in your in your mind then you tekan and you make it very short and clear Jangan uh, the, the I mean This one I have to say You mesti buat uh, More practice and Then you'll be better lah uh, Kalau Kalau tak cukup practice It's okay to try Okay uh, There's no wrong or right here Kita main game saja Jangan Jangan uh, panic lah You must try until you bagus In other words 
uh, let's say for clarity uh, you jangan cakap Roy this is gadget uh, I I I believe uh, uh, on the right side uh, uh, I think uh, that one is not clear lah that one you in a way you are hogging up the net from other people uh, other squad leaders needs to use the radio uh, you, tapi you tekan butang tak boleh guna so be clear about that so ABC is uh, the basic things uh, that you have to understand now from ABC any question I'll, before I move to the next section ok clear uh, no. yes siapa tu? Uh, spark yes uh, yeah, yeah. kalau kita tadi kalau macam kalau kita nampak dua vehicle kita cakap ada dua vehicle sahaja kan ya yeah. apa jadi ke, ke, apa jadi kalau kita nampak dua vehicle dah send radio dah tapi ada tambahan lagi ke, dalam dua tiga tiga ok contoh dia ada lima kilo lah ok so kalau you nampak dua you cakap dua dia bila yeah. tambah satu dua you cakap I see another vehicle uh, total three now so in other words uh, what it means by accuracy is that you it's okay for you to to tambah because you sekarang you nampak tiga dia accurate sudah tiga you tangkap tiga you jangan guess the the problem is you jangan teka so if you see two you say two lepas tu lagi dua masuk you say uh, correction correction there's two more now total four macam tu ok dah <laughs> So, contoh macam uh, perlu bagi tahu juga lah kendai apa contoh tiga BTR dekat North West tu ah tu very accurate bagus because what not not only you bagi vehicle you bagi the description of the vehicle also which is BTR because dia ada BTR dia ada main battle tank dia ada uh, even like helicopter or like, at least you give the accurate description of the vehicle that's the that's the thing uh, that is betul ok any question no more question I will move into the next section which uh, is basically into the reports that you will give ok tadi uh, siapa tu lebay when you cakap under under fire kan uh, well not say under fire lah. let's say kita patrol kita jalan-jalan tiba-tiba dekat saja uh, bukan ambush lah you nampak dia belum uh, enemy belum nampak you you nampak enemy dulu ok danger close. Uh, danger close datang so what you do is you give a very quick uh, ok you give a very ada question tak? Tak ada. Ah, ada, ada. Okay. Um, contohlah kalau seluruh uh, apa? Kok mate semua dah mati. Hmm. Pastu nak minta reinforcement nak report ke FL dulu ah eh, apa PL dulu ke ataupun terus straight ke squad lain? Ah uh, okey, that one I, I touch with you later. Uh, kejap eh. Because that one masuk into let's say emergency procedure and all that uh, yang lain. But before you can go into that, all you need to do is uh, kalau you you uh, operator, you bukan squad leader ke, you just remember few things first. Uh, first of all is the few reports. Ada empat report je. Uh, for for squad member, bukan squad leader, uh, squad member, there's only two reports you need to do. One of the report is immediate contact report yang tadi saya cakap you jalan depan and then uh, tiba-tiba you you nampak enemy tapi enemy belum nampak you ok so you straight away you call an immediate contact report yang immediate contact report tu senang je 3D 3D uh, which you just now I mentioned direction distance description 3D you must this one practice and memorize sebab a lot of times kita bagi uh, description je most of the time the, yang biasa kita bagi description lah. enemy <laughs> tu je stop so yeah so you don't you don't just stop at description you should say direction first thing you do is you said uh, direction ada uh, at least a few types lah ok I give you one example direction to front uh, left right pun direction so what you say front 300 meters to Uh, enemy infantry macam tu ok so that's the 3Ds ok I repeat macam direction 2 o'clock 50 meters 
two enemies two that's your first 3Ds already cukup now if let's say you dia tak jumpa you lagi then you can give a more slow relax punya description to give better better understanding untuk semua this is a report to your squad leader if you are squad member don't go impress the platoon leader and and tell the platoon leader you kalau you squad member you just report to your squad leader Okay. Uh, kiranya kalau walaupun SL down semua kiranya survive jelah. Ah uh, kalau you SL down by right uh, be, during the briefing kalau SL down dia ada satu two IC dia punya right hand man lah dia punya kedua lah. So kalau semua mati you the only one alive that's when you cut across to another squad. Okay. Oh, okay. You cut to so across you report to the next squad or Uh, if necessary you if the only one left kalau you ada long range radio you boleh report direct to platoon leader kalau most of the time you tak ada long range so susah you mau cakap dengan platoon leader ok now that is okay. that uh, ok Eric ya ya kita nak buat practice macam copy sebab kalau kita just bagi info bagi info everybody so kita tak tahu dia receive dia understand atau atau dia tak dengar ke well like i said the four construct remember the four construct is the most basic the three d's is your message so in other words you follow the four construct if your squad leader let's say is dan okay you panggil dan dan this is eric and then uh, dan will say send then you said enemy uh, front 300 meters You know, you can say that straight away, cukup. Okay. But you still have to follow the construct. Then you can say, oh, uh, then then we we'll say, uh, uh, copy that out. Then you have done your job already. You sudah bagi satu clear comms already. Okay. Then SL will have another procedure lah. Okay. So I will go to the next report. Kalau tak ada question, the next report is still a contact report. Tapi the contact report for this one is for SL. That means for squad leader uh, leaders to send a contact report to platoon leader. Yang panjang sikit punya. So for squad member, three, your construct, your 3D, cukup. For squad leader, there's another report called a contact report to the platoon leader is... Uh, What we kalau you guna abbreviation dia ada uh, what we call a SALTA report lah S A L T A SALTA SALTA report is a, re, a contact report to the platoon level uh, 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 level yang what S A L T A S is size size of the enemy okay the size of the enemy A is the activity of the enemy L is the location of the enemy T is the time And A is the action by friendlies. For example, again, fall back to the four construct. You will call, let's say I'm a squad leader, Roy is the platoon leader, I will call Roy, this is gadget. Then Roy will say, send. I will say, stand by for contact report. Then he will say, uh, uh, I will say, uh, stand by for contact report, over. Okay, he say, proceed, over. Then I will say, size of enemy. Size of enemy, one squad, two squad, atau satu platoon, uh, satu battalion. Activ uh, then th that's S, and then A is activity. On the move towards uh, northwest location, you can give. By, kalau you ada masa, you boleh bagi grid lah. Kalau tak ada masa, you boleh bagi general direction. Three o'clock, right next to the uh, uh, military tower on the west to the location. Kalau you ada masa at grid 556645 macam itulah time now kalau now means that means you baru nampak because sometimes time is that you saw the enemy 2 minutes ago tapi you tak boleh cakap because dia dia dekat you bagi dia uh, pass already then you send your contact report let's say 3 minutes later you sudah sembunyi kan 3 minutes later dia pass you can send a contact report time 2 minutes ago or time 3 minutes ago That's why time is important. And then activity. So activity too is like uh, about the enemy. They are patrolling, or they are aware and they are they are aware of us and they are approaching us. Uh, to to activity. So that is the Salta report for squad leader to the platoon lead.
which is a contact report. Any con any questions from here before I uh, move to the next report? Yeah. 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 Uh, yes. to contact report. So hmm. kalau macam dia nak macam request pada PL untuk scout sini ke request pergi ke sini ke. So dia macam mana dia punya structure? Okay, that one again is not a report lah. There's a request. So kalau you as a let's say you are squad leader, you want to ask for a permission to move to another position. Uh, you just that one you don't have to worry about report. Dia tak ada report. You just go into the four construct. The four construct tadi I cakap is uh, Roy. This is gadget. Then uh, Roy will say send. Permission to move uh, northeast 300 meters uh, to provide overwatch from that position. Uh, over. Then Roy kalau kata uh, proceed affirmative or negative. Uh, and then kalau dia kata okay proceed over. And he said uh, all skirmite on the move out. So that is that is the four construct of sending a message. Tak ada report. Okay. Clear. Okay clear. I will go through two more reports then uh, basically that is the the basics of uh, communication before i go to other matters and uh, within the next i would say 10 minutes uh, this course will be over so just to give you a brief uh, uh, time yep uh, ada satu soalan boleh azrul apa ni kalau nak tekan kita nak bagi tahu grid satu musuh tu hmm kalau keyboard ni nak tekan apa grid tu okay Grid tu you what the easiest way is to buka map lah. Okay. Now that one is another course lah, navigation course. So you must know how to read the map. Kalau you kat sini, let's say sekarang you buka map. Okay. Map kat sini you tengok kita punya position kat uh, atas tu, which is actually the radio and comms. Kita you nampak kan? Kita punya icon kat sana. Yang belah mana? Belah kanan bawah uh, ni. North, north. Kalau you buka map, north, you nampak north kan? Kita ada uh, satu kumpulan dekat sana. Uh, okay. okay, then for this one, eh, dia ada senang sikit because dia punya admin sudah enable kita punya cursor dengan kita punya cursor sudah ada di punya grid. Dan dengan, dengan uh, elevation. Bukan, itu elevation. Elevation. Uh. So, if you buka for map this one, senang. You you put the cursor kat sebelah tu, okay, you can see that the grid is 0 to 6, 0 to 1. Uh, basically, you cukup lah. Tak payah cakap elevation. Okay. Uh, kalau tak ada, tak, dia punya setting tak ada, dia buat uh, macam realistic sikit, you tengok dia punya grid atas. 0 to 6, atas. And then you go from uh, uh, on the left side, you tengok 0 to 1. Oh, kau nak masuk 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 saya. Hmm. Uh, masuk saya macam kita nak bagi tahu pada kita punya team. Hmm. Ya musuh, dudukan musuh tu ada kat mana? Hmm. Contohlah sekarang kita ada dekat grid uh, koordinat 026021. Musuh yep. ada dekat 028020. Okey. Ha uh, kita nak bagi tahu dekat musuh ada dekat sana tu. Okey. Ha uh, macam mana button apa nak kena tulis ataupun kita nak type aje? Tak boleh type Ini tak ada type So you If you want to inform that uh, Usually you guna You punya comms lah uh, Let's say you guna If let's say uh, You are a squad member You mau report uh -huh. You punya grid Untuk uh, squad leader So then You punya kawan-kawan kat squad You tekan you punya radio You you boleh cakap You uh, in other words you you straight away go into your immediate contact report lah so you cakap macam eh, let's say I am your squad leader you will say uh, gadget Azrul then I will say uh, send he said uh, I have an immediate uh, contact of enemies at grid direction lah to 3D 3D to direction kan so the direction you boleh guna grid so you uh, kalau you tahu you said uh, uh, gadget Azrul send I have eyes on enemies at grid 055 022 uh, approximately 30 meters from us or approximately 200 meters from us they are right now uh, unaware of us and moving west to description uh, okay, okay. Uh, that's how you do it uh, there's other ways also lah kalau you mau you move kat map you boleh letak marker kat map pun boleh 
Please check marker uh, Tu pun boleh Alright Alright Okay Any more questions? Um, yeah, Yogurt Macam mana kita dah Estimate range enemy eh Sebab Ha. Tak ada range finder <laughs> This one Practice oh. You After a while You boleh agak-agak punya You tengok Dia punya Dia punya size of your enemy Macam uh, Dekat lagi, lagi, lagi Lebih dekat Lebih besar lah So you will under, After a while practice You agak-agak punya You Most likely you tengok Open space tu You boleh keliru sikit Because You you might think That dia 200 meter Mungkin dia 500 meter But This one Susah This one you must practice Oh, okay. okay Unless you have a range finder Or you have a binoculars uh, Or At least the other one is that You buka your map You tengok Kalau you punya position dekat satu Satu building kat map Then you Agak-agak dia Dia sebelah laku satu tower ke apa Then you boleh jarak dah From your map you pun boleh jarak dah Okay scope boleh juga tu Ya jarak uh, Apa tu scope Oh, your punya weapon scope uh, Weapon scope pun Weapon scope susah Unless you ada Macam itu Russian punya Sniper scope tu uh, Dia ada satu Curve Yang boleh bagi jarak uh, Yang Russian punya Ada satu curve You boleh agak-agak Dia punya jarak You guna curve tu Tapi uh, US punya Scope macam Uh, red dot ke Atau Dia punya Apa tu Ecop pun tak ada Itu susah Okay Okay uh, Quickly move to the next one Next one is a Seat rep report Situation report Sama For squad level You punya situation report uh, Usually You punya squad leader Bertanya uh, Let's say Kita semua Is Raven 12 So let's say Squad leader akan kata Cakap Uh, River 12 give me seat rep So as a member Satu-satu mesti guna seat rep uh, the, the idea of Satu-satu uh, bagi seat rep Yang paling senang is that Under ST Hut Kat bawah ST Hut You tengok you punya list kat sana You ada You punya nama kat sana You follow the You follow the sequence of the nama Okay Kalau ST Hut ada tu Siapa yang pertama Cakap seat rep dulu And then the next one the, will give the seat rep Yang paling cepat punya seat rep Is the squad level punya seat rep Is called an ACES report A-C-E-S ACES Okay ACES tu maknanya A is MO C is casualty Atau you punya keadaan medical E is you punya equipment And S is you punya stamina So For example Err uh, Afis will call me uh, Afis is my squad leader I'm a member Afis will ask me for seat rep say, uh, Provide uh, seat rep Okay So kalau nama saya kat ST Hub pertama I will say uh, This is gadget Ammo green I'm okay Up and running Equipment full No damage And stamina full Atau you boleh guna color lah If everything is uh, No problem Paling senang Try to keep it short Sit wrap All green Tu cukup You know Sometimes you need to Remember to keep it as uh, Simple and straightforward Jangan ambil banyak, banyak masa Kalau you know Ammo okay You tak ada apa Cedera You punya equipment Tak ada rosak Your stamina green You just said This is gadget All green Then the next one To take up That is the Sit wrap Senang punya squad level Now for the next Final report Is the seat rep from SL uh, Squad leader to platoon level That seat rep is called A full seat rep So let's say platoon leader Kata Raven 11 Provide me seat rep Or Raven 11 seat rep So then you said uh, Actual this is Raven 11 Seat rep as follows You punya location uh, We are currently at Grid 66552 Then all aces report clear ASUS report tu that means tadi lah MO clear, casualty semua Kalau ada apa-apa you mesti report uh, MO, MO is amber Atau MO is yellow Atau MO is red uh, Request resupply macam tu Current activity we are now currently uh, uh, We are now currently on the move Or we are now currently mm -hmm. uh, in position To is the current activity And then the time Uh, is currently lah That means the, you punya time sekarang Now Usually is now lah Okay And other info 
kalau ada info tu is like uh, uh, we have our m wrap uh, right tire sudah rosak macam tu so that one is actually location ASUS report current activity time and other info that one as long as you are SL you should know that kalau you tak you are bukan SL don't have to worry about it ok so there's four empat type of report your immediate contact report for squad your platoon level contact report your squad level punya seat wrap and your full seat wrap for platoon level ya lebay kenaan seat wrap Mm -hmm. Siapa yang akan request Dan bila waktunya untuk request Okay Usually request of seat wrap Comes from either the platoon level Or from the squad level je As a member You tunggu je Sampai you dapat uh, Request for seat wrap And as a squad leader Usually the seat wrap is after an engagement Or or something like uh, Dah lama Like you jalan-jalan And then they should, they, you are spread out and then very quiet and squad level was uh, squad leader decides to ask for a report you said uh, Raven 11 give me a quick seat wrap kalau semua ada green semua kata green saja or most likely lah is after penter, uh, pertemparan that means after an engagement semua sudah quiet sudah settle down that's when usually people ask for seat wrap because you punya ammo sudah guna banyak ada orang cedera then uh, equipment sudah rosak and all that Okay, uh, that is the, I think the most important part of the course and I will go into other matters sekarang. Any more last question ke? Anything you want to ask? Proceed. Semua clear? All clear, um, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to refer to this, don't worry, I'm recording this and I will be posting up to YouTube and uh, kalau mau re re uh, apa, revise, revision ke, revise ke, boleh masuk back to YouTube. Okay, so now I will move to final final parts. Uh, the final area is this very simple. Uh, in communication, you also need to understand uh, some of the uh, peta punya comms, map comms lah. So in the map, uh, you will most likely nampak banyak uh, markers kat sana. Ada orang letak marker. Let's say squad leader, I have uh, I have eyes on uh, BTR uh, jarak 300 of 300 meter uh, northeast sekarang on the way uh, away from us uh, you can refer to marker on map so marker on map we book up my dia sudah letak satu marker these are the few examples of marker alright the markers are macam EI EI is enemy infantry so you can put two times enemy infantry and then you will see things like uh, MG MG is machine gunner bunker SQD uh, yang yang uh, more common is WP waypoint, OP is operation point, uh, Overwatch point, CP is convergent point, AO is uh, uh, apa tu? Uh, action air apa tu? AO is what ready ah? Activity area operation. Area operation. Okay, that's OA actually. So things like that you will see into the map. All right. So you have to understand the map markings also. Now quickly moving to navigation tadi yang uh, there was a question uh, how do you give a, a bearing okay there are actually three types of navigation bearing like when you call uh, you do what satu contact report lah a uh, uh, like quick contact report you will use direction which is actually your cardinal uh, direction which is north west uh, east south so now these are the common things north north east east south is very simple you will also hear things like northeast, northwest. That one is quite straightforward. But now, if you hear things like north northeast, uh, that one a bit pelik sikit, right? Or south southeast or south southwest. The south southeast is the division between of northeast. That means it's even smaller. Let's say north northeast usually is pukul satu atau pukul dua. That is north northeast. Or north northwest is usually pukul sebelas. West is pukul uh, 9 Understand that that, that uh, Cardinal directions Bearings tu senang Bearings is actually uh, Compass lah Degrees Compass degrees is like things like uh, uh, Bearing 360 uh, Which is north lah Bearing 9090 uh, 
that is the other way of giving your bearings then the final one is clock clock is pukul pukul berapa lah pukul 3 pukul 4 pukul 6 kat belakang lah ok sometimes very simple straightforward. enemy 3 o'clock 50 meter danger close 2 je straight forward everyone understand uh, but before you say that uh, don't forget your four construct uh. that means all call signs all call signs this is gadget enemy 3 o'clock 50 meter danger close uh, very clear that is your full comms that is the at least 95% perfect ok ok, okay. okay. So, now soalan. yeah soalan uh, kalau dalam kompos tu hmm kalau bearing tu number yang paling dalam sekali kan bukan yang kat luar kan uh, compass tu yang yeah, yes because kat luar tu is actually if I know mistaken kat luar tu is my mills that's mills yang lain punya style mills macam ok mills dia ada satu way of uh, explaining compass that one is more accurate to the point of if you are motor atau artillery Kalau you tak you bukan motor, bukan artillery, you tak guna itu. You guna yang paling dalam. 2 250 234 tu. Okay? Okay, my last section. My last section is just quickly go through the most common abbreviation atau pro words. Pro words tu is procedure words lah. This one you will hear very straightforward banyak kali but the most common one is I will go through quickly ah. Radio check. That one is uh, senang lah. You want buat radio check lah. Okay? All call signs. Uh, all call signs too quite straightforward also. Break. Now, break. This one I will go into little detail. Where break too is macam full stop lah. Because if you have a long message, kadang-kadang you mesti bagi long message. You boleh cakap break, then you boleh nafas sikit, then you continue. You, If you have a long message, uh, let's say macam contact report ke apa, uh, you, just, you don't have to go for salt, like, like a SOTA report you got the size of enemy to uh, some people may go all out and says uh, one platoon uh, going drive side uh, location 5664 uniform is uh, 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 flag tan uniform type. wah penat lah you can say it. Uh, size of plat uh, size of enemy one platoon break activity uh, the activity macam size of platoon break moving east break location at 665-456 break uniform that one is something for you to full stop that don't have to guna banyak kali lah break ok so you will hear break like that so break is for you to give a, a break in between long sentence copy to copy acknowledge receive understood uh, so that is quite quite common lah it's an acknowledgement lah how copy there is another one so how copy is after you finish one long sentence you can always end it with how copy then you wait for someone to respond solid copy now the other one is check fire check fire is very common also banyak friendly you kena tembakkan always uh, by friendly you tekan uh, PTT all call sign check fire this is friendly fire to check fire is to make sure that you get people to to understand that uh, uh, macam cease fire kejap lah check you punya fire Contact uh, Contact tu is the most basic You jalan-jalan Diam-diam Tiba-tiba ada enemy kat depan You have to say it. All call signs Contact Front 50 meters danger close Contact Okay Location uh, Tu very common lah Location What's your location? Over Now over is a interesting thing That is simple but Orang guna salah over is always something you say at the end of a message whereby you have now completed your message and you pass over the message for acknowledgement to your other party ok macam uh, Roy this is gadget over uh, then you tunggu and that's when Roy will say send your message over then you can say uh, I have a con uh, I have contact report standby for message over Sampai dia habis over, 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 pusing, pusing The last message is out That's quite straightforward lah Out I say, okay, receive, out Now, when someone says uh, receive, out That's the end of the message tau You tak payah, you tak payah cakap uh, Where they say uh, like macam, Let's say Roy receive, out Then you say, copy that out You lagi sekali, out, tak payah 
when you see out you by right you boleh cut the message eh. sudah diam dah ok Oscar Mike Oscar Mike tu on the move lah is actually the the acronym of OM Oscar Mike that means I'm on the move macam Roy asked me to go to uh, CP2 then I will say uh, Roger that Oscar Mike that means aku jalan sekarang ok say again is another one uh, kalau you tak dengar you can cakap say again send send is uh, another one that uh, you acknowledge then you said send message atau send je wait wait is let's say kalau you jalan-jalan you nampak this is gadget uh, contact front wait because you 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 have to hide already sekarang to to macam to emergency you can say wait then everybody will wait for you now wait is actually a uh, 3 or 5 minute uh, second wait saja. 3 5 saat punya wait saja. If you have to give a long report macam you have to take some information, you can say wait out. That means wait out the when you say wait out, the net buka lagi for everybody, then you get back to him later. That's wait out. Will co. Will co is called will comply. That means you dapat uh, you dapat orders, then your response is will co affirm or affirmative negative that means yes or no lah okay finally uh, the last one is that uh, if you do see uh, a priority target or an immediate danger uh, and you have to interrupt a ongoing traffic or ongoing message through uh, and also you have to make sure that it's absolute, absolutely necessary then you can call in a uh, interjection of calling break 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 uh, three times when you say break 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 uh, that would actually uh, put in your request to interject into the message okay that have come to the final part of the basic comms any questions before I hand over this back to Roy for medical all clear Kalau all clear, terima kasih for your attention. Yep, lebay. Tadi kerja baru bagi satu example uh, yang penggunaan uh, over ya. Eh? Yeah. Kalau message tu continuous, adakah kita perlu gunakan call sign untuk start message? Untuk start message. Oh, kalau message tu message uh, continuous, perlu guna call sign tak untuk start message? Tak payah. The when you when you initiate you punya message dia for construct the first part let's say you kata uh, gadget this is lebay you sudah you sudah cakap you punya so I know that I'm talking to you tak payah repeat so what you say is uh, gadget this is lebay I say send over then uh, when you say send, uh, when you continue lah you kata uh, I have uh, two men down injured I need a medic over then I will say receive copy that over out when I say out means set ready now, now the thing is after someone say out and you want to start another message you should start again with the call sign again short range 100 ok alright Kalau tak ada apa, terima kasih for all your attention. I will pass the floor back to Captain Roy Scrat. So. Alright, ada sesuatu yang tak jelas dengan radio komunikasi. Ada apa-apa soalan yang mungkin anda jejak terpas ke apa?